Go. Yeah? Hello. Right, everybody, a miracle has happened. Uh, Ruth, those French people we love, have done something new. They have actually improved the fit of the Desmo, which has uh, been in production for about five years now, and the biggest complaint really is that there's not enough area inside the chin piece. So let's have a look at an old one. This is an original Desmo, matte black, size 58. A lot of people say there's not enough room in the chin piece to clear their jaw, so it's very short at the front here. I mean, the idea by the guy who created it was obviously to keep it as compact as possible. But let's see, I'm, I'm a medium, let's see how this fits. It, normally they're very small fit. Actually, I would say that that medium 58 fits me spot on. Uh, although it doesn't fit a lot of people who think they're 58, so it's definitely on the small side of medium. And the chin piece fits me too, which is good. I've got clearance there, but a lot of people say that they get issues with that. Uh, so, Ruth have launched a newer version of the Desmo. Here it is in all its splendor with a new parachute new parachute helmet cover. Actually at the moment it's only available in two colours, this kind of zinc gun metal and one called Pilot, which is a grey colour scheme I think. Um, so the main difference is this bit in the front, the jaw piece is bigger. So anybody that's ever tried one of these on and thought that it wasn't a helmet for them for that reason, uh, this should be the improvement they've been looking for. This is a size 60 so it's going to be big on me anyway. Yeah, it's definitely too big for me. I pull the chin piece down, and there is definitely a lot more room in there I can get my home hand in. So that's what Ruth claimed, and it looks like they've done it. Um, another thing they claim is that they've got a quick release system on the chin piece now to stop it sticking. And I know that that used to be a problem, but it seems to come up very fluidly. So, all in all, looks like this is an improvement. On the old one, as you can see visually, there's not a lot of difference. But this chin piece you can see is longer. So that's it for the Desmos, that's the only change. Only available in two colours, but soon it's going to be available in a lot of different colours. And then for the boxes this year, there is actually no change dynamically to any of the boxes. So they work the same, structurally they're the same. This is one of the new ones for 2016, which is called the Target. Uh, it's kind of an improvement on the old black red, or the black red graphic, black, uh, sorry, black red star, black red graphic, and then you've got the black red Target. But actually there's, there's been no changes dynamically or mechanically to this helmet for four years. So these, this three pin system, which is the distinctive feature of the V8, has been the same for four years now. The tabs are exactly the same. They open exactly the same way as the old ones. So whatever V8 you buy, as long as it's a V8, uh, it'll be the same for the last four years. Obviously they supersede the Vs. This one comes with like a 12% light tint smoke visor, which is legal, uh, whatever the cops tell you. So that's number three on the new list. And then there are two more new boxes. Again, there are no differences to them dynamically or structurally. No difference to the vents. You know, the vents are the same in all boxes. They've got two on the front you can open there. And they've got the one on the top, which opens at the front. Oh, sorry, at the front here and at the back there. So single pivoting rocker open and close there, and then you've got the two vents on the front. These are quite effective and help with demisting. This is called the 1995, I think, uh, for the simple reason that it's their 20 year anniversary because the first box, so actually the first box that came out in 1994, because I have one, but I guess this is the official production from for 20 years. So this is the 1995, so that's the, the next year one. And then the final one, new for this year is the one I can't find. Ah, it's called LP20. 
have no idea why it's called LP20. Uh, I can't think of any clever French aphorisms. So you'd have to ask them. Okay, so that's it. Again, absolutely no different to any of the other boxers that have ever been before or after. Uh, no, no difference to the VA anyway for the last four years. Uh, and you can see it's exactly the same. Let's put them all there on that lineup. So you've got one, two, three new V8s for this year and one new Desmo. Uh, and the last version of the V8, which is also kind of newish, is the Bond. And you can see there's absolutely no difference between the latest version of the V8 at the beginning of the year and these new entries for the end of the year. That's it for your 2016 lineup.